Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. My name is the E-Pad. In the last part, we made it to Vermilion City. And in this part, we are going back to Johto. Uh, after defeating Lieutenant Surge, of course. I forgot to mention that. We're heading back to Johto for the next piece of side quest. There's only a very small side quest, actually. Whoa, where are they? Ah, whatever. Yeah, there's a very small piece of side quest we have to head to... Uh, back in Kanto, or Johto, and it's pretty self-explanatory what we're going to do. I mean, we did take on a electric gym, so I say we do something a little more electrifying, even though we have done more things electrifying. If you could see the Pokemon right here, the roaming Pokemon in Johto, uh, an easy way to get them into the same route as you is basically heading out uh, switching between routes and stuff and cities and stuff it actually changes where they are and eventually they'll come towards you uh, it's also recommended if you have a Pokemon that's below level 40 and also has a level and also has a max repel that you can use um, that way you know you'll run into these Pokemon a lot easier um, so yeah it's depending on what Pokemon you're getting if you want to use what ball you want to use and stuff but it's also recommended, since these are roaming Pokemon, you probably want to get a Pokemon with Shadow Tag like Wobbuffet, or uh, something with Mean Look like Jinx or Golbat. Uh, if you have a Crobat or Embryon, that's also very helpful. So yeah, I'll cut ahead until I actually find the Pokemon I'm looking for. And here he is. It's, this is Raikou. Raikou is the Thunder Pokemon, one of the three legendary beasts. And yes, I'm still calling him that. He is honestly my favorite. I feel like he's kind of underrated in his, uh, in his own perspective because Raikou is, to me, the underdog out of the three. Uh, mostly because he doesn't have his own special thing to him. He doesn't have his own movie, I guess. Which is kind of silly to say, but it's true. Um, he's really fast, really good with special attacking, and he has a pretty good moveset, uh, especially with Rain Dance and Weather Ball and stuff. Uh, it's a pretty good Pokemon. I am going to use a ball that I am... might not regret to use. I'm going to use the Master Ball on this thing. Even though there is another roaming Pokemon that is not Entei that we could get with the Master Ball, I would rather go with using the Master Ball on this guy because how fast he is. Um, a fastball actually does work on this thing. Uh, I've actually tried it way long before. It's kind of risky though. Um, it mostly works if Raikou's kind of weakened. Let's see, the rain, cloud, the rain clouds it carries lets it fire Thunderbolts at will. They say it, it descended with lightning. Uh, I love this Pokemon. I've always liked his... Uh, Ah, his tail, and how it kind of resembles as a tiger. Because if that looks like a dog to you, I'm sorry, but I, I I don't know what to say. Anyway, that's really about it. That's the side quest that, we, that I was planning to show. Um, other than that, that's about it for now. For now, at least. So, what we're going to do today as well, with only like three and a half minutes in, um, we're going to head to Cerulean. Since we have beaten the third gym and have no worries about, like, you know, HMs that could have unlocked any anywhere else, logically it makes sense to head to the fourth gym. In fact, we could fly to the fourth gym because we've already been to that place. However, there is a couple things I want to show off. Uh, there is an optional dungeon that I want to show off. Uh, more onto Lavender Town that I want to show off. Kind of. Not really, but it's mostly that dungeon. And, yeah, I don't want to have to skip those kind of things. So, how about we get ourselves uh, an HM Slave? I'm going to leave Onox in here for now, because he is kind of high level. Uh, even though I am wanting to use the rare candy on him, still, it's might as well. Uh, who's my... God. I always forget, like, who's actually my slave. Um, huh. 
Actually, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about like all, all the other stuff I was playing for this let's play, and I think I got it. It's kind of hard to explain, but there's so many new things happening in this uh, remake in Kanto that's not in the original game that I think I'm going to do uh, in the after we get all the gym badges, of course. So, how about we head around through Cerulean City? Goodbye to Cerulean City forever. I don't think there's any reason for us to come... Actually, no, there is one reason for us to come back here, but that's later on. Um, wait. <sighs> Apparently, I don't need cut. Well. You know what? Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get uh, Onox. Alright, so heading back here at Route 9. Actually, we've never been here to Route 9, have we? Oh, no, yeah, we have. I remembered. In fact, we could probably pass through all these uh, trainers, actually. I might just fight one of them, because, I don't know, it, it seems kind of weird not to have any trainer. Well, then again, I don't know. What did we get picked? Uh, I, I don't even know what we picked up. I'm so stupid today. <laughs> Alright, let's just head up and uh, see what we can do. Should we fight this guy? Actually, that guy's not going to look up. Oh. Well, he's going to look sideways. Yeah, let's let's fight this guy. Mount Silver's in Johto, right? It must be a Silver Mountain. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Continuity for the win. Because we're going to bring up some nasty, nasty Pokemon right now. Alright. Actually, it is pretty good that uh, I am planning to... Oh, God. That's not going to do much. I didn't know I'd be faster than this thing. Oh, God. Uh, ooh, Rock Blast. Uh, Rock Blast is a move that just, you know, kind of hits three, two to five times. It's pretty good, actually. 25 power per hit uh, is pretty strong. Let's do Buck Bite then. Um, so yeah, it's actually pretty good that I'm doing this battle because there's two Pokemon that is actually in this route, kind of in this route. Uh, one of them is Voltorb. I could finally talk about this Pokemon, uh, since Olivine City. Voltorb is what I like to call it number 100th Pokemon, because it's number 100 in the, uh, Pokedex, at least in the original ones. Um, Voltorb is, when it evolves to Electrode, it becomes very fast. It's actually the fastest Pokemon in this game that is out of the first two gens. Um... Other than that, though, I don't find Electrode as good anyways. It, it mostly specializes in its speed, and it doesn't really focus as anything else. It kind of like, it's a Pokemon that, you know, can take a hit, or at least give a hit in the first turn, but in the second turn, it'll most likely die. So, it's a Pokemon I don't recommend. However, another Pokemon that is here, that is also an Electric type, only found in the grass uh, by Power Plant is Electabuzz. Electabuzz is a decent Pokemon. I'm not a huge fan of his design, but it has some. It's decently fast, has decent attack. It can learn a pretty good amount of moves. It has an evolution that's awesome, but it's only available after you collect 16 badges. But I don't know. If you want this Pokemon for either reason, it's a good choice. So yeah, and hopefully with the stuff we have, I'm surprised that uh, explosion did more to uh, did more to shrapnel than it could have. Uh, let's head down. There's actually something. I think there's something down uh, towards power plant for us that I think we could actually do, but I'm not sure. Um, actually, I was about to end the video off here, but I didn't realize that I took on the trainers around here. Uh, which was kind of surprising. I'm assuming I need a Flash Slave, though. So, because there's going to be a certain thing here for us that we need. I think this dungeon needs a Flash. It makes sense if it does. So, why don't we get a, a Flash Pokemon? I, I just keep changing up the rules and stuff. Uh, let's see, who do I... Do you have Flash? Yeah, you do. Okay, good. So, yeah. Um, I've been... So, how have you guys been doing lately? Uh, actually, a couple days ago, I think last Saturday, uh, today is Monday, I think. Yeah, today's Monday. Actually, no, last Friday, uh, there was a stream of Balrog the Master, a very fantastic reviewer, uh, good for Nintendo Pokemon and stuff, or, no, <laughs> good for Nintendo reviews and stuff, which is also pretty cool. He had one of the most craziest, 
craziest uh, streams. It's so bad, it's so good, as everyone wants to call it. Or, as everyone wants to call it in one term, that is basically why. Which is also very funny to me. He's an awesome guy. Uh, surprisingly, he lived in um, the same state as I do, because we uh, met each other at Magfest. But, the thing is that, like, I don't know. It's not really awkward in some say that, you know, it's cool to meet someone in the same state as you. It's actually pretty cool that you can meet someone like that that's either popular or, you know, that you actually know on YouTube. I don't know. I, I don't... I try not to be so socially inactive... Uh, not inactive, but, you know, hyperactive with people when I first meet them. Like, one time I met Chugga Conroy at a MAGFest as well. And as cool as I was, I didn't want to be, you know, make him seem uncomfortable. Uh, because, I don't know, it seems like he was more, you know, focused uh, with some things. Like, I, I don't know, it, well, maybe he just didn't want to be bothered, as I'm saying. That's mainly why, you know, I don't want to make other people uncomfortable because I want to make myself feel, you know, happy to see them and stuff. But, I don't know. Uh, before we before I keep on going with this, I have to talk about the new Pokemon here. Because there are actually two new Pokemon here that we have not ran into before. Uh, the first one is Cubone, who is actually pretty defensive uh, for what he is. He has some decent attack and um, decent typing, I guess. I don't really think having a ground type is that interesting at this point. Uh, the fact that, you know, you can get a Dawn fan, which I think is a better Pokemon... That's mainly why, um, since we're at the, <laughs> wow, we're at the exit already, okay, how about we just, uh, keep on looking around, and the other Pokemon is Kangaskhan, ooh, fling, uh, the other Pokemon is Kangaskhan, which is a pretty superb normal type, similar to, uh, Tauros, not as good as Tauros, but he has a better move pool than Tauros, uh, he actually earns Outrage very, uh, later in the game, um, if you really wanted this Pokemon, it's actually a pretty good normal type, very rare, and it has a reason to, uh, because it's also very, because it is very good, um, and I'm sure many of you are going to ask, oh, what do you think of his mega evolution of Kangaskhan? Yeah, it's pretty cool having to, you know, bring out the kid and stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much in Rock Tunnel. I'm surprised. I thought there would be, uh, trainers here. I guess not. Wow. What's with Mount Moon and Rock Tunnel being so barren? Well, it's not really barren. It's just no trainers there. Oh, I see. All the trainers are out here. Okay. Uh, should I take you on? Let's see how much Pokemon you have. Okay, I'll take you on. I'm a champ. Oh, God. Actually, I probably have to switch out now because I can't do anything against you. Uh. Kara? Sure. I'm kind of worried. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't want to have to, you know, make people uncomfortable. Uh when they're on vacation, supposedly, and, you know, it, 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 it would look bad on me, mostly. I don't want to have to make other people feel uncomfortable when I feel when I see them or talk to them or anything. I don't know. In the long run, it would be awesome to be friends with them. You know, I'm sure many people would love to be friends with someone they, uh, they were inspired by. But, you know, at the same time, it's like... I don't know. That's the same reason I, you know, I met, uh, I think I already said this, I met Nintendo Capri's son at MAGFest as well. Uh, I didn't sp I didn't talk to him as much as uh, Chugga, because the first time I talked to him, he seemed very, uh, I don't know if he, wa if he really wanted to talk, because he, uh, well, he, he's one of the people who, you know, even said himself that he doesn't want to make, uh, like, if there's any chance you talk to someone, you have a, a good chance of making an awkward conversation because of, uh... Because the way things work and stuff, or whatever. Or, or whenever, like, two people don't talk, it becomes awkward and stuff, so, like... Though that was after I met him on MAGFest, so it's like, yeah. I think it was. I think it was. I can't remember what video he was from. Oh, God. Uh... I think I know what... TM that is, but hey, we completed Rock Tunnel, I'm not going to end the video off here because this place is quite small, so you know what, I'm feeling I'm feeling good today, I'm feeling like we should like look a little bit around Lavender, 
uh, get that TM behind there, because I really want that TM, because I already know what it is. Uh, and yeah. Anyways. So, yeah, that's a, that's kind of how it is. So yeah. If you're asking, like, you know, I'm living close to MAGFest, and me and Balrog the Master live in the same state, that pretty much means I'm close to MAGFest. That's the only place I'm relatively co close by. Now, let me get this guy. Assuming he learns strength. Um, yeah, I am actually an hour away from MAGFest. I am going to MAGFest again uh, this January. So, I don't know. If you guys can recognize me, that would be pretty cool. Anyways. And let me just say, this music's pretty nice. It's... I kind of like the original one better. As in the original, I mean like the Kanto one. Because it has a more darker feeling to it. Many people understand like the whole idea of Lavender Town being uh, a very sorrow kind of place uh, with the Pokemon Tower. Except in this game, they decided to make it a radio tower and forget about all the Pokemon they once knew. Oh god, that's actually not where I want to go. There's actually not much trainers here. I think there's actually three here. So that's pretty good. You to use strength. And why don't we uh, push this stuff right here. And right here we get TM69 Rock Polish. Okay, that is a very controversial TM name for what the TM number is actually called. 69 Rock Polish. Oh god, they did that on purpose. Come on. Anyways, Rock Polish is one of the big reasons why the Rock types are uh, really good in this game. Uh, it basically doubles their speed. And, you know, being that rock types are generally very slow types, it's pretty good that they get that uh, advantage of doubling their speed. And because of that, I'm going to give that to Onox. Onox can actually learn Dragon Dance, believe it or not. Or at least its final evolution could. So maybe later on, if I can, uh, I can use the Move Tutor to get him to learn Dragon Dance. It's not a move tutor that, like a move relearner kind of person, but it's a move tutor that is in a place that we haven't been to yet. But yeah, uh, why don't we get rid of Scary Face? There's no point in blurring speed when we can raise our own speed. So yeah, why don't we do that? Scary Face, and we learn Rock Polish. Uh, our move set's actually going very well. <laughs> All right, let's uh, head out and look around a bit in Lavender Town, a place that is pretty Lavender. This is not a place I want to check out. <laughs> awesome. We get the first place we check out is a place that we always go to. All right. Uh, let's see what this is. Lavender Volunteer Pokemon House. All right. Let's check it out. Can you believe it? Some people are. Some people get bored with taking care of Pokemon. Grandpa takes in such poor homeless Pokemon and takes care of them. Aw. Mr. Fuji does not does live here, but he's away for now. He should be at the House of Memories. House of Memories? You mean this house right here? Did she say out of town? No, she, she just said away. That's crazy. People come from all over to pay their respects to the Pokemon. Or to spirits of Pokemon. Um, at the radio tower uh, in this town, the guy named Ben, uh, he actually runs the radio tower. He also has his own radio station. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of like Buena of Johto in some cases. All right, so this is where all the this is where all the um, Pokemon tombstones are. Pretty small, I must say. The last time I checked, I don't know, there was like a million tombstones in the Pokemon Tower. This is a messed up region. Kanto sucks. I'm sorry for Kanto. Um, actually, right here, I think this is the Name Raider. Uh, they actually decided to put the Name Raider here. In Kanto, if you actually need to head back to one, uh, easier. So that's pretty cool. Kanto has many good radio shows. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, something I should mention is that uh, in the radio station, every on certain days you can actually hear Hoenn sounds and Sinnoh sounds. Uh, it depend. It it's songs from Diamond Pearl and Ruby and Sapphire, and it actually makes. Uh, those certain Pokemon exclusive from those regions appeared in these games in Kanto and in Johto actually I think um, so that's really cool having to you know find Hoenn Pokemon and Sinnoh Pokemon potentially using them in your team 
of course, I'm not going to bio them or use them because I want to talk about the Pokemon that is in both Heart Gold, Soul Silver and Gold and Silver. Uh, or at least talk about all 251 Pokemon or 250 or whatever. Okay. Anyways, that's going to be it. I went over the time limit. Not by much, but whatever. Yeah, that's going to be it for today. We went through Rock Tunnel. We caught Raikou. We made it to Lavender Town. We explored uh, Lavender Town. And next time in Pokemon Heart Gold... We'll be heading west of Lavender Town, heading to Celadon. I think there's something below us that I could check out, so maybe I'll do that too. But yeah, other than that, we'll be done for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all whenever.